Anyhow, I am so glad you're yeah. all here. What fun. I, I didn't announce that I was going to be here as a frog, you see. I just thought I'd show up, and that's kind of what I did. It's not printed anywhere, so. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. And I think maybe we can go to some audience questions uh, Yeah, now. let's do that. Right. You've been out of, the, out of the spotlight for a really long time, and I know everybody in here would agree on how much you really affected everybody and how wonderful you were. What are your feelings on how are, are you feeling about actually getting back and doing this again, even for a new generation? Well, there are all kinds of changes. You know, things have changed. Uh, television screens are now wider. Uh, you can fit more Muppets in the bottom of the frame and not have so much headroom. Uh, that's nice. No, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm older and slower, but that happens to frogs, you know. Old frogs never die. We just croak. <laughs> yeah, it's the old ones that get them laughing. I travel cargo. Um, don't, no, it's better. It's better than first class. Private, uh, as long as there are air holes, I'm good. You know? <laughs> FedEx, you can get there the next day with no problem. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And since you're single, can I have a kiss? <clears throat> well, I suppose, but we can't, all of you can't. Come on up, what the heck? Come on up. Here we go. Nice and easy. Yes, if you notice like a, a little wart on your cheek tomorrow, uh, it had nothing to do with me. Like a little felt wart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Imagine, like a little green felt thing. <clears throat> Anyhow. <laughs> is there's obviously an aim to uh, attract a more adult audience. Like, how much are you trying to make sure that it's still appropriate for children and still keep that audience at the same time and make it where, for example, that I won't have to worry about watching it with my nine-year-old? Yeah. Because we're going to be talking about adult issues, but I think that we will never be offensive to an eight. <laughs> you can watch it in front of your eight-year-old, and, and we'll always be loyal to our fans and not be, say something that you would have to cover their ears. Um, I think it goes back to Jim Henson and the Muppet Show. That was a show that was aimed towards adults, but kids enjoyed it by the nature of the physical humor and things that they did. When we say so. physical, <laughs> now, we don't mean Kermit. physical. Yes. You know, like physical, like you couldn't show you. I just discovered a new thing. I can puppeteer Kermit's <laughs> with my foot. foot. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. And we're, yeah, wow. Things like that. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I'm not doing very well, but anyhow. So uh, my question is, who is your favorite Muppet to work with? Me, is that for me? Yeah, that's for it's you. For any of us? Yeah. I, I, I used to be contractually obligated to say Miss Piggy. Um, <laughs> but she's represented, so in the audience there. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, certainly Fozzie and Gonzo are old pals. We've known each other for years. Uh, you know, they're my friends. They're my buddies. Yeah, But like uh, it trickles so down much. the whole pyramid of Muppets. Yay. If they pull the bottom out of that pyramid, I'd go crashing down. <laughs> I was wondering if you do any impersonations of the other Muppets on set. Oh. Uh, well, I, I don't do accents very well, but I do a mean Constantine if I just do this. Hi ho, Kermit. Hi ho. It's Carlos. Nice to uh, see you. <laughs> okay, um, so this is going to sound like it's a really strange question, but uh, have you ever sat around rehearsals with the Electric Mayhem, and what are they like? You know. <laughs> <laughs> on this new show, they're the house band on Miss Piggy's late night show, uh, Up Late with Miss Piggy. Uh, you guys know the show is like ABC is documenting an actual show that we're doing called Up Late with Miss Piggy, which is a late night talk show. So, and the band is now, um, well, they're all pretty good. They're pretty good. Animals getting healthier. Um, I don't know that that's a good thing. And Lips is back. Lips is back. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Kind of, there. kind of fun for me. Uh, and, and some of them have been rebuilt. <laughs> uh, like Lips. We, we tried to shoot, we shot this video that just came out called uh, Jungle Boogie. And we've got one coming out later. Can we talk, say that, Kodachrome, later on? Sure. We shot a, a it's kind of fun. Anyway, those will be internet videos. 
But we were using this puppet of Lips, the trumpet player, if you know who that is. And he was a character I did back on The Muppet Show. And it was still the original puppet from nearly 40 years ago. And he was made out of this foam that was starting to disintegrate. So on the last shot, on the last day of shooting Kodachrome, his trumpet went through the side of his face. <laughs> and uh, that was it. He was gone. So they rebuilt him for the new show. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You're like, we shot Poor the last lips. scene. We couldn't look. We had to shoot him from that yeah. side. You know? <laughs> Anyhow, I wish we could sit here all night, but I guess we can't. Uh, thank you, Debbie and Steve. But and thank Kermit. you guys for being a part yeah, of that thank video. You That's so much very for being cool. There. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Look at Floyd. I love him. How wonderful.